What's up, everybody? Toby Wayne, Toby Wayne Studios. Uh, so I'm going to be working on this Juggernaut bust uh, today, as I've stated in my last video. And I'm going to be working on the eyes uh, today. I, Like I said in the last video, I went and I picked up a couple of these uh, ball bearings from uh, my local Fred Myers. And so uh, this is going to be kind of a, a different setup for me because of, uh, I don't know if you can see in this bottom screen here, but I've got this camera directly in front of me. So <laughs> I'm hoping I don't bump it and I'm hoping that I don't uh, knock this thing silly. But uh, this is the best way for me to, to show uh, everybody uh, watching at home what I'm doing here. So the camera is directly in my view, but I'm going to be kind of looking around it and working around it. So we'll, we'll see how this setup works. Um, I don't know. It, it should be fine once I start getting into it. Uh, it'll be a little easier to work with, I think, and for everybody to see uh, the processes. So, uh, Also, I've got this bottom camera going on here, pointing up. Um, I, I, I may re end up repositioning that at some point or another, but we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know exactly how long this video is going to be. Um, I'm going to be kind of trying to keep an eye on the... the time down in the bottom, but uh, you know me, and I once I get started, uh, it kind of just goes wherever it's going to go. So uh, anyway, in the last video, I talked about possibly cutting this uh, mask part off. I'm going to try to work around it so I don't necessarily have to remove it, um, but we are going to see how that goes. Uh, but I just, I wanted to make this video to do some eye placement here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, here you see I've kind of got some eyes started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, scoop out that eye there. And uh, I'm going to be placing these ball bearings in. And I'm hoping that um, everything is going to go smooth. I, I don't predict any uh, trouble, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And by trouble, I just mean like having an issue of placement of the eyes uh, in with this clay oops and see how that just popped right off I just took the whole the whole piece out so I'm gonna there, there's a there's a potential trouble issue so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to blend that back in normally I don't have a camera directly in my face like this so uh, I'm gonna be kind of working my way around that and I probably will end up doing some of this off camera, uh, sculpting on this guy off camera, or I might uh, uh, turn off this overhead cam and just kind of put my other camera up and just kind of turn it on and let it do its thing while I'm working. But of course, that's how I missed out on my last 45 minutes of my <laughs> second, second to last video I just put up or third video where I had an hour long video and only 15 minutes of it worked. I couldn't believe that. So what a pain. So I apologize for that. Okay. So I'm going to, so you can see the eye hole here is still pretty, uh, pretty small compared to these. I'm trying to eliminate as much having to re-sculpt this as possible, but it may just have to be that way. And even though this is a larger sculpt, it's still kind of small for these sculpting tools. A small space, because these are still pretty good sized sculpting tools. So, all right. Uh, let's see if I can just kind of manipulate it in by hand. Okay, that doesn't look too bad, right? Kind of got some good placement there. And all of this is going to just be kind of sculpted in uh, to kind of blend and look, you know, I obviously I can't, for the molding processes, this is going to be kind of a pain if I try to uh, make it look as if the helmet's separate. So I'm going to have to kind of cheat and blend so that there's no undercuts for that silicone. And this side I'm going to have to open up a little bit more because as some of you may or may not know, the distance between the eyes should always be one eye width apart or fairly close to. Some people have really wide spaced eyes, some have narrow, so it really just depends on what's uh, 
uh, what God created for that person, but uh, this one I'm gonna just go ahead and try to do the one eye width apart. So I'm gonna punch that eye in there. Okay, that's not bad, right? And then we'll kind of start to blend and smooth, smooth that. Start to kind of put the eyelid. I like using these uh, ball bearings. It's just so much easier, and it makes it makes me believe that it's an actual eye. Uh, you know, when I'm working on it, it's not just a uh, a sculpture or a, it's not me just sculpting in an eye there's literally an eye uh, eye that's going to be put in an actual eyeball so uh, it gives me an opportunity to kind of uh, fool myself into believing that that's an actual eyeball <laughs> so and of course uh, one of the things too that I wanted to talk about um, is my my favorite sculpting rake uh, and let's see if I can get a decent shot of it here on the the webcam here uh, unfortunately this sucker broke how disappointing there it uh, the, for some reason the wire here just due to the uh, motion of the back and forth scraping as you can see when you push on it 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 flexes so anyway this finally broke so I'm gonna have to get myself a new one of these I'll, I'll make myself a new one but unfortunately I think I ran out of my uh, guitar wire so that means now I'm gonna have to go and go to the gu the guitar the music store there and get some new uh, guitar string so that kinda sucks but uh, next time around I'll do it differently I'll, I'll probably Mix, mix up some epoxy, and instead of pinching it with the metal, I'll uh, just stuff it into the, the actual tube, and then I'll apply my epoxy clay and then let it cure so it'll be rock solid. So there's not any of that uh, uh, metal tubing hitting on that wire, so which caused it to uh, warp or break, loosened up that wire in there, finally broke. Okay, and that's and I do have the other end, which is a finer guitar wire, so uh, it's not as strong as the thicker stuff. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to be pretty darn careful with the way that I'm handling this. I can still get use out of this end uh, if I just apply pressure to it and support it from the back side. I can still get some use out of it, but it's nothing like the new one. How I how I can just get crazy with it and really lay it in there on that clay. So this is just going to be kind of me placing these eyes in and kind of establishing the shapes. Um, I'm going to have to go in and get some reference uh, images of the eyes and the mouth because I may change this uh, facial pose up a little bit. Um, not sure yet just what I'm going to do. But I'm going to, I guess I'm going to, I was spending some time on Google doing some research on facial expressions. And uh, so I've got some of those that I may refer to. And I'm also going to be um, probably using my heat gun and softening up some of this, some of the, this uh, clay around these eyes here to, make them a little more pliable and then I'll run my lighter fluid solution over them and that'll knock down some of those high points some of those rough spots if you will So I'm thinking the uh, eyebrow is probably going to go kind of where you see I've got a, a light uh, little scribing of that. You'll kind of see that's where I'm going to put that eyebrow in there. So right now it's just a matter of just 
finessing and fine-tuning that clay, and then I'll once the once I get to the point where I'm liking the placement of the eyes, uh, then I'll go back in and start to really fine-tune finesse. And uh, doing build up, uh, build ups, and making sure those eyelids and everything are established. Like I'll have to, like this is uh, what I'm kind of talking about there, where I just lay a little, a little snake of clay in there to establish that bottom eyelid, and of course it's not going to want to stay. <laughs> and why would it stay? You know. I'm only trying to film it for everybody. And let's go ahead and put the upper portion of the eyelid. I was actually looking at myself in the mirror uh, doing certain facial poses, which always gets a chuckle out of the people that catch me doing it, <laughs> but uh, it helps to, to use my my facial expressions. I can study them and look at them as, as I'm sculpting. You should see me out here when I'm working by myself. I've got my YouTube blaring, and I'm usually listening to uh, either 80s music or Metallica, something along those lines, but... Uh, I'm just singing away and I'm making all sorts of facial expressions, but uh, it's quite comical. Okay, so kind of starting to block in those shapes a little bit. I talked about it in a previous video, but it's always so difficult to not spend tons and tons of time fine-tuning and finessing one one little eye or one ear or one tooth or whatever it is that I'm working on. I get so hyper-focused on one thing and I want to just fine-tune and focus in on it and I'm realizing that all the rest of the sculpture is in uh, need of help, of course. So you get this really cherried out eye or a really nice lip or a facial expression. And then the rest of the sculpture is, has to try to catch up to that one moment. Some people, some people will, like I said, uh, focus and get everything you know, blocked in. And then they'll start fine tuning. Um, and then others will just start with one eye and... We'll just focus on that and complete that eye and then build the rest of the sculpture or drawing or painting or whatever it is that they're doing around that one eye. So it's, as artists, that's our, I guess, our whatever we feel comfortable doing. Every artist, or, every artist is different. They always do something different. So now I'm going to come in and kind of deepen, maybe I'll use my, my trusty Cleoid discoid. I'll come in underneath this eyebrow, or under this eye here, and kind of scoop it out. I had a bigger uh, scooper uh, on the end of a tool, and I don't know where it went to in this cluster that we call Toby Wayne Studios. But... Uh, of course, I need it right now, so I'll never find it until this project is completely finished. So that's, that's, uh, I think that's some sort of a law or a rule or something. <laughs> so I think I'm going to add a little bit there. And to balance out, uh, I added the eyebrow on this side, so I'm going to just kind of lay one in on this side to see kind of where it's at and what it's looking like. 
I want them to have that angry expression, of course. And then you can just kind of add in your your eyebrow uh, eyebrows. And again, this is just placement. This is all I'm doing right now is just trying to establish the placement of the eyes and what I want to do with them. There, there's no real finessing or fine tuning at this moment. It's just kind of setting the stages for the shapes. And what I may do is for these shorter videos, um, I may set up the X split and just talk like this. And then on my bigger, uh, longer videos where I'm just getting into some heavy detail, um, that's where I may uh, just turn the camera on and just, you know, add music or, or just raw sound, you know, just have r the unedited file. Um, I, know, I know some people have made it clear that they, uh, you know, want to hear me talk. And uh, I, I love interacting and talking and, and filling the video up that way. And in some cases, uh, I may end up, you know, getting into that zone and just you know focusing so if I if I create videos where I'm not saying talking or saying much uh, just know that that's I'm kind of in that zone um, and I'm just kind of really focused and just trying to get stuff done I have a tendency to talk <laughs> my wife reminds me that all the time uh, reminds me of that but uh, I, I'm very much a communicator and a talker and if you've ever met me at a show or or uh, know me personally and interact with me uh, on a daily basis I I uh, am notorious for talking your ear off so <laughs> so I'm sorry or you're welcome depending on who it is that I'm talking to right now I guess or however you view me so always always believe in trying to uh, interact and talk with people as much as possible and share my knowledge. Yeah, so at this point, um, I've got my shapes blocked in. I'm, I'm pretty happy. So now it's just a matter of fine-tuning and finessing. And there's going to be a lot of finessing once I get inside here and cleaning up all these things and establishing cheekbones up underneath there. And, and then, of course, uh, up underneath, I'm going to have to clean up uh, and run, you know, all those uh, tools and stuff up inside of there, so to to smooth stuff out. But uh, yeah. So anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to establish the eyes and get those new BBs in there or ball bearings, if you will, um, to make sure that I get you know the proper placement and and eye placement and setup. Um, and now I can really start going in and fine tuning and finessing. Uh, the only other thing I can say about this is once I move to the back, I think I might fill this in a little bit here and uh, I might make the piece wider. I'm not sure because right now it's just traps and the bottom portion of the pectoral muscles. But uh, yeah, I think it's uh, taken shape. It's it's going good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, starting to to block and smooth things in and unfortunately I'll be doing that uh, rakeless uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to be very careful with this rake but uh, yeah it's uh, it's gonna be nice I think it's gonna this juggernaut is taking shape and I'm very happy with where it's going I just now I just have to stay focused stay aggressive stay positive stay hungry as they would say in the motivational world but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of this view if this uh, if this is okay I'm like I said I'm, it worked out to where I was able to uh, to get this thing set up to where I can move this camera around a little bit but uh, I may end up just switching cameras I've got another camera uh, set up back there so 
Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Uh, I appreciate it. You can also find me over on Instagram. Uh, welcome to the channel also. If this is your first time checking out uh, my, vi my videos and my stuff, I appreciate you checking me out. Uh, and I appreciate you subscribing. So anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And I will check you out. And you'll check me out in the very next video.